next theorem kele theorem the statement of this theorem is every group is isomorphic to the group of permutations proof let g be a group for each g belong to g we consider a function the phi of g sits from the group g and a group g defined by uh, pi of g x is equal to g of x for each x belong to the group g to show that uh, the function pi of g is a bijective function we consider the uh, consider for any two points uh, x and uh, y belong to the group g phi of g x is equal to phi g of y and according to the above <coughs> uh, condition which is equal to g of x is equal to g of y and by cancellation law cancel g with g the result is equal to x is equal to y therefore in this case we can say that the function phi of g defined above is one to one function from the group g to the group g now to show that uh, the function phi of g is an onto function uh, first uh, we we have that is uh, as g is an element of the group g the small element g is an element of the group g therefore the there exist uh, the inverse element of g belong to the group g such that uh, when we operate uh, the element g to its inverse gives an identity element of the group g now for an element x belong to the group g this element x this element x is an element of this set g then the element x is equal to identity element multiply by g when we operate the identity element to the element x of the group g we are e is an identity element of this set and uh, the identity element is also equal to g g inverse uh, multiply by uh, uh, x that is uh, the uh, when we operate these two elements which are the inverse of each other according to the above condition gives an identity element which is also uh, can be written as uh, according to the associative property that is g g inverse and x these three elements x is an element of g g and g inverse is also an element of the group g therefore according to the associative property which is also equal to g g inverse x and according to the above definition which is equal to according to this division which is equal to pi of g phi of g pi of g on uh, g inverse x for each x belong to the group g that is uh, for each for each x belong to for each x belong to the group g there exist an element g inverse multiply by x belong to the group g such that phi of g g inverse x is equal to an element x of the group g that is each element x belong to g is the image of an element g inverse of x belong to the group g thus the function pi of g is an onto function from the group g and a group g hence the function pi of g is one to one and onto function is a bijective function from the group g and a group g according to the above pro procedure uh, we can define a bijective function uh, pi of g from the group g on a uh, group g and this uh, bijective function is called a permutation from the group g on the uh, group g let the set s uh, consist uh, all the permutation pi g define uh, on define from the group g on a uh, group g for each g belong to the group g that is consider uh, two permutation pi g and pi g dash belong to the set s uh, for uh, any uh, element x belong to the group g pi g pi g dash on x is equal to that is we, when we operate uh, the pr product on uh, the element of the set s 
and uh, we operate uh, this resultant uh, uh, permutation uh, which is an element which are the element of the set s on uh, an element x of the group g which is e also equal to pi g pi pi g dash on x and according to the above definition which is uh, stated earlier that is pi g of x is equal to g of x g of x which is according to that uh, defini uh, de which we which is defined above which is equal to pi dash on x and uh, operate uh, the uh, which this element this element g dash of x is again an element of the group g because the element g dash and x both are the element of the group g and uh, uh, again apply the uh, function phi g on the element of the group g which is equal to g g dash of x and according to the associative property which is also equal to g g dash of x and uh, according to the above which is defined above there is equal to phi g g dash on x the, thus uh, the, the function uh, the, the, that is uh, the product of the permutation pi g and pi g dash gives uh, a permutation pi g g dash which is again an element of the set s thus uh, the set s thus thus the set s is closed under the multiplication that is phi g pi g dash f x is equal to pi g g dash r x now clearly for each element x belong to the group g pi of e x is equal to e x is equal to x where e is an identity element of the group g thus uh, the permutation pi e belong to the set s is an identity permutation of the set s and is called the identity element of the set s also for any two element pi g and pi g inverse belong to the set s that is g and g inverse are the element of the group g therefore the uh, the element g define a permutation pi g and the element g inverse of the group g define a permutation of permutation pi g inverse uh, which are the element of the set s and g and g inverse g and these two elements these two elements are the inverse of each other these two elements these two elements are the inverse of each other gives an identity element of the group g then uh, according to the above procedure the when we operate these two permutation with respect to multiplication then uh, the result is equal to pi of g g inverse that is pi of g multiplied by pi of g dash is equal to pi of g g dash is calculated uh, above therefore pi g and pi g inverse is equal to pi g g inverse is equal to pi of e we are pi of e according to the above uh, calculation is an identity permutation of the set s therefore these two permutation are the inverse of the set s the these two permutation these two permutation are the inverse of each each other contained in a set s that is for each element of the set s there exist there exists its inverse element in the set s also to check the associative property let pi x pi y pi z are any three element of the set s then pi x multiply by pi y phi z is equal to phi x and according to the above calculation pi g pi g dash is equal to pi g g dash which is equal to pi y z and which is operate this permutation to this resultant permutation which is again according to the above calculation equal to pi x y z and which is also equal to pi x y multiply by pi of z and which is equal to pi x y is equal to pi of x and pi of y multiply by pi of z that is associative property hold in the uh, in the element of the set s 
thus the set s and hence the set x set s satisfy all the condition of a group with respect to the binary operation multiplication therefore the set s which contain all the permutation defined from the group g and a group g is a group with respect to the with respect to the binary operation multiplication next uh, to show that uh, the group g is isomorphic uh, to the set s where the set s contain all the permutation defined from the group g and a group g for this consider a function psi from the group g and our set s defined as psi of g is equal to pi of g where g is an element of the group g and pi of g is a permutation uh, uh, defined on a group g is an element of the set s since each element pi g belong to the set s is an image of each element g belong to the group g therefore the function psi is an onto function also for uh, any two element g1 and g2 belong to the group g psi of g1 is equal to psi of g2 and according to the above condition uh, which is equal to pi of g1 is equal to psi of g2 is equal to pi of g2 afraid uh, the inverse of uh, the of, uh, uh, permutation pi g2 which is denoted by pi pi g2 where pi pi g2 inverse is the inverse of pi g2 which uh, these two element are the element of the set s therefore <coughs> pi pi g2 m, uh, uh, multiply by pi g2 inverse uh, gives an identity permutation which is denoted by pi of e is equal to phi g1 pi g2 inverse and according to the uh, above procedure pi g1 pi g2 inverse is equal to pi g1 g2 inverse uh, is equal to pi of e this condition the condition of equality is satisfied only when uh, g1 g2 inverse is equal to an identity element of the group g and uh, for for g1 for g1 and g2 are the element of the group g these are the element of the group G and operate uh, the inverse element of G2 inverse uh, to both side of this equality we have G1 uh, G2 inverse uh, G2 is equal to identity uh, multiplied by G2 and uh, the, these are the inverse of each other gives an identity element of the group G. <coughs> Therefore, G1E, when we operate uh, the element G1 of the group G to an identity element of the group G, uh, gives uh, the element G1 and the uh, G1, uh, G2 multiplied by uh, E is equal to G2. Thus, uh, the, f the function psi is uh, a one-to-one -one function. That is, uh, f that is uh, psi of G1 is equal to psi of G2 implies that, uh, this uh, implies that uh, G1 is equal to g2 thus the function psi defined from the group g on a set s is a one-to-one -one function hence we can say that the function psi is onto as well as one-to-one -one function from the group g on a set s thus the function psi is a bijective function from the group g on a set s Moreover, for any two elements g1, g2 belong to the group g, we have psi of g1 multiplied by g2 is equal to pi of g1, g2 as defined above according to this condition, which is also equal to pi g1 multiplied by pi of g2 as calculated in first steps. That is phi g1 multiplied by pi of g2 is equal to pi of g1, g2 and phi of g1 according to this condition is equal to psi of g1 and pi of g2 is equal to psi of g2 that is psi of g1 multiplied by g2 is equal to psi of g1 multiplied by psi of g2 thus uh, psi the function psi defined from the group g on a set s where the set s contain all the permutation defined in a group g is an uh, is a homomorphism and is uh, uh, consequently is an isomorphism from the group G on 
the set S, where the set S contain all the permutation defined on a group G.